Hello, my name is Sven Ringling. I am director at iProcon in London. Today I want to demonstrate the new Concur SAP interface in a live demo and give you a quick overview what the interface provides you as services with the new SAP Concur integration add-on. The new integration add-on is based on web services within Concur, which would be activated by your Concur support. On your SAP systems, which might be a variation of HR and finance systems or combined HR finance systems, you need to install the add-on which you can download from the SAP service marketplace. So what does the interface provide? To begin with, your HR master data from SAP HCM can be moved into Concur to create the user master data. Also, you will need the finance master data with cost centers, project IDs or order numbers to use as cost object within Concur. This is also part of the standard interface. With these data in Concur, you can create your expense claims in Concur and then eventually post these claims into your SAP finance systems. This posting is what I'm going to show you in the live demo in a minute. And finally, after the posting, Concur will be notified by SAP whether the posting has been successful or not, so you have a full status overview of all of your claims inside Concur. To make it easier for you to follow the demonstration, here's a quick roadmap of what I'm about to show you. To begin with, I will create a claim as a normal expense user. However, I will forget to allocate this claim to a cost center to provoke an error, so you can actually see how the error handling works within the new interface. Afterwards, I will switch to a different user, which I will be running in a different browser to approve and process the claim. Then I will switch into the SAP system to pull the claim into your sub-finance system, try to post and observe the error due to the missing allocation. Then I will show you how to fix the error in Concur, which in our demo will be done by the processor. Afterwards, I will again pull the claim into SAP and demonstrate the successful posting in SAPFI and eventually show you how the feedback loop will be closed by the notification about the posting status in Concur. Okay, let's get started. Here I'm logged in as a test user to create a simple expense claim. Choose expenses and I've already prepared an empty shell to speed up the demo for you. So this is an expense claim with no expenses included yet and I'm about to add an expense for German domestic airfare at the 19th of October, purchased in Frankfurt at 99 euros. The receipt is going to be a tax receipt. I'm not adding a comment, but it's a mandatory field to say whether the trip is domestic or not, so I will fill this in. And then the claim is actually ready. The only thing I should do now is actually allocate a cost center project or uh, order number, which I'm not doing, so we can observe the error later. I save my claim and submit it. Confirm the warnings and now it should be sitting with my line manager for approval. So I'm switching to the other browser where I'm already logged in with the user to play the line manager as well as the processor role. I'm checking approvals. I see that the expense claim I've just submitted is sitting here waiting for my approval. Open it, not doing anything with it, just approve. Because the really interesting part is about the processor role. So I open the menu for processing claims and I'm searching for the claim I've just submitted and approved and here it is. So we can see this is an open 
claim, it's approved, it's an accounting review, that's me now, um, and it hasn't been paid or even sent for payment yet. So as a processor, in the old days, I would have checked it and then sent it for the SIE file to be created. The SIE file is dead once we use the new integration. All I have to do now as a processor is to do the final approval and that actually makes it ready for import into SAP. So if everything was okay, this is all done within Concur and now we have to switch into the SAP system. In SAP with the integration add-on implemented, there is one new transaction where you can do the whole setup and also the process. Obviously, in an ongoing uh, operational environment, you would have the import uh, scheduled as a job, but now in this demo I want to show you step by step. So I open the transaction, CTE setup, look at financial posting, look at the existing Concur documents, confirm the information box and then start the so-called feedback loop. This feedback loop has been completed successfully. Let's see what happened. We now have this expense report. It's exactly the label I've given it earlier, but the document status has failed. So we know something went wrong with the posting and to get some more information, you can actually select the failed report and then display the protocol. Here we see posting failed and we get a little bit of an extra information here that there's a missing cost object information. However, as I said, in the normal world, when you're operational, you probably wouldn't do this manually in SAP. This job would be scheduled and you would expect to have this feedback inside Concur. So let's quickly go back into Concur into the processor role again and see what the processor can see. Again, I'm going to search for my particular claim and see here uh, that the status has changed to financial posting failed. So that's the first indication, something has gone wrong and the system asks us to check the audit trail for more details. Going into the audit trail, if you work with Concur already as a processor, you know you find it under the detail button. And then it actually tells me that this posting hasn't worked because there's no cost object assigned to it. You may wonder why this message is actually in German rather than in English. And this is one of the little pitfalls uh, you need to be aware of. At the moment, the messages are always posted in the default language you set the interface up with. In our case, this has been German. In your case, therefore, strongly recommended to use your corporate, global corporate language as default language. Anyway, we know what's wrong. We know that the allocation is missing. So as a processor, I can now recall the claim. So that's new if you are used to concur so far. Once you've exported the SAE file, there's nothing you can do. But in the new interface, if the posting fails, I can recall the claim. And then as a processor, I have the power to do anything I would be able to do based on my rights. In many cases, I would actually want to send it back to the employee. If the employee has forgotten to add a cost center, it's usually the employee's responsibility to know which cost center it should be. To keep the demo a bit shorter, I will actually make the correction in the processor view. So I need to add an allocation where the allocate button and the cost object we are looking for here is actually the project. And I pick our internal project IT. Everything else is already filled in, pre-populated from the user master record. Allocation is saved. Done. Save the claim. Approve again. So if everything was correct, we should now be able to pull the claim into SAP again and actually post it successfully. At the moment, the status is back to processing payment, so we know it's ready to go into SAP, but nothing has happened yet. 
So back to SAP where we still see our old error message. What I'm doing here is start this feedback loop again. Same process, as I said, usually you would have this in the background as a job, maybe once a day, every night, once an hour. That's actually up to you. So the feedback loop completed successfully. That doesn't mean anything yet. It said this earlier too. That just means that technically everything worked. Doesn't mean that the posting was actually correct. But now we have the line again with our document, same name as my claim, and the document status is successful. So if you go into the display button again and you look in the document protocol, you would see the earlier trial which failed and now we have a successful posting. You can also jump right into the document from here. It's not very exciting, obviously it's just one expense in the claim. So we, we have the 99 euro price tag of the flight and that's then uh, divvied up between the actual flight cost and the VAT tax. So let's go back into the processor role. Again we have our list uh, from earlier. I refresh my screen. Search for my claim again and I see now the status is sent for payment. But maybe it's even more interesting for the actual traveler. So now we are back as the normal traveler, the user who submitted the claim earlier. If this user checks out his claim library, he will actually find our test demo number eight as submitted earlier. We see it's approved. Okay, that's not new, but now the payment status tells us it's sent for payment. 